Brad. So, you know, first of all, just what made you want to come out here today and be a part of Jake Diebler's introduction? Well, the first thing is this is a family event, right? So I'll say that basketball is all about family. And uh, it was a great turnout to see the announcement of the new head coach, Jake Diebler, as Ohio State's head coach. And I think former players were here to support that. And then to make sure that he knows we're here to be an asset to help him. How have you seen Jake embrace the family of Ohio State basketball just since he became interim coach? Well, I'll just tell you this. He understands the formula. Right? There's a formula here that has worked over the decades. And one of the greatest things you have is in this facility and in this state and this university are the, are the peers that have come through here right, to help him. The other thing of it is this. He understand, you have to understand the value of what that is. And if you do, because uh, it unlocks so many different things that you don't even know are out there, but it can help you. Ross mentioned that he consulted the former players during the process. Did you talk to Ross before the hire? No, I didn't talk to Ross, but I was talking, I was working on some other things, trying to make sure that the uh, the alumni base was represented. So I don't know how I became the de facto leader of that, but uh, just making sure that we were all connected here, right? Because that, the thing of what I found out, and this is through the, through the decades, Kelvin, Herb Williams, you know, Tony Campbell, everybody wants the same thing, they do. And that was, that was good. I was like, wow. Some people I hadn't seen in 20 years. I was like, wow. It still believes Scarlett and Gray. And what is it that everybody wants in a head coach? Well, they want this place to assume the position that it deserves. You don't need to be second from the bottom in this league. You don't. Right? And so uh, Jake did a marvelous job coming in, uh, taking over, right? Doing one of the work, working his hand. They got this chance here in the NIT. Uh, but we've got to take this program back to where it belongs. This is a blue blood program. That's what it is. What is your advice to Jake about how he can get it there? Well, just continue to do what you do. He comes from a great background, great family background, understanding how to connect the dots. This is about connecting the dots. That's all it is. All right. The other thing is you got to get out here and you got to you got to bring some talented people in here to help you, right? I mean, I don't think you know, no uh, no one team has won in this place. But I have an abundance amount of talent, so that that is always helpful.